Hi everybody, this is Sonia. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today is Monday, let me check here, Monday, March the 27th, 2023. And I hope this is finding everybody doing well and that you have had a lot of stitching or crafting time um, since my last video. Um, if you are new, welcome. I hope that you see something that you enjoy and that you will consider hitting that subscribe button. And then the notification bell that's next to it and that will just let you know when I have uploaded a video. I would love to have you aboard. And once again, thank you to all my returning viewers and subscribers. Thank you so much for continuing to come back and support my channel and check out what I've been working on um, I enjoy sharing, and I'm so glad that you're here and that you enjoy seeing what I've been up to. Um, this is a cross-stitch and a crochet channel. I alternate my crochet and my cross-stitch every other week. This week is going to be a cross-stitch um, video. Next um, week will be a crochet. And I have other things thrown in here and there, family, um, pet updates, um, I take care of feral cats, and I will be doing an update on those soon, and just other crafts and hobbies that I might pick up and try. So, yes, um, that is what this channel is. So anyway, like I said, today's cross-stitch, and I don't have any finishes. But I've made good progress on all of my whips. And I will show you what my new start for April will be. I am doing one new start a month this year. And I only work on them for one day. So whatever gets done, that is my start. So I have started something. And so far it's going really well. So, I think I might keep that up because I'm not feeling stressed or anything by it, which I thought I might. So, that's good. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So, the first one I want to show is from Tiny Modernist Months of the Year, and this is April. So, this of course will be Easter, the bunny, the cat dressed like a bunny. A little chick, Easter eggs, very, very Easter, and I love it. This is worked on 14 count white Ada, which is from my stash. Before that, this is what it looked like last time you've seen it. Okay, and this is what it looks like now. So I have made good progress on this. I have did the outside of the frame. I have finished the green. The green grass is all done. So, yeah, I've made really good progress on this. I really like how it's turning out. I think this might be one of the quicker ones that I get done. There's a lot of the same colors in this. So, so here it is, side by side. So now it's basically filling in. I gotta get the fence. I might do that next. And then just fill in the little things around. So, there it is. And once again, it's tiny modernist months of the year and this is April really enjoying these tiny um, tiny modernists and I do have um, a question and if you could put the and if any of you know you could put the um, your you know comment in the comment section down below when I get done with these months, I would like to do the seasons, 
like spring, summer, winter, fall, or autumn. Um, if any of you have stitched any of those kind of patterns, could you please put that down below for me? Um, I kind of like the more, you know, the cute C type things like this, maybe something in that thing. I mean, I'm going to do any, th any of them, but I'm, I'm kind of more drawn to this kind of, you know, like with l little animals on them or something like that. So, yeah, because when I get done with this, I want to do the season. So, if you know any patterns, you know, I'd appreciate the name or the designer or anything like that because I would like to get some to do after I do these. So, yeah, any help would be much appreciated. Okay, let's go ahead. And the next one, this is my, oh, this is Sunday only. I don't know if I mentioned that. This is Sunday only. I only work on this one on Sunday. It's a great palette cleanser. It's small. Just a very relaxing piece to do. Okay, so my Monday through Wednesday piece is from Heirloom Treasure. It's mice stitching. And I've made some good progress. I think it's going to be hard to tell. This is what it looked like last time you've seen it. Okay, and here it is now. So I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. I did put in the bow. I have not back stitched it, but the bow is in. I have finished down here, and her dress is finished, um, which isn't actually the dress. That's a bobbin or a where you put the floss on and there's the little hole so I finished that finished the bow let me see I finished the scissors there was a section of back stitching that I had not finished I finished that I am over here now on the spool I am back stitching the spool now so I think that is what I accomplished. So, yeah, when I work on it again, I'm going to finish the spool. And then I think I'm going to put the glasses on the ones that need glasses and put the noses on. And I think there is some back stitching on the dresses and then finish the hoop. This is very close to being a finish. Very, very close to being a finish. This is worked on 14 count Chloris Ada from under the sea fabrics and I absolutely love it. I love the colors, they're bright. And I was just able to work it so the pat the mice were not in the colors that their dresses were. So it all turned out really really nice. So once again, this is 14 count Ada, and the color is Chloris, and it is from Under the Sea Fabrics. So this is my Monday through Wednesday piece, and here it is, Heirloom Treasures Mice Stitching. So this one will be finished. I would say maybe a couple of more rotations and I should have this one done. Okay, 
And then because I finished um, the strawberry that I showed, I have started on the cactus terrarium. And that is this one. This right here is my last mania, stitch mania piece for 2022. Um, I had already started my stitching when um, stitch mania was. So at the end, when I had those few extra days left, I brought in my s stitching. And I worked on that. But my actual ones, this is the last one. It was this one. It was um, at the beach. It was hang on kitty. It was the strawberry. And it was this one. So this is my last one. So this is from Bucilla. It's a My First Stitch, and it's called Cactus Terrarium. And I took a picture of what it looked like when I picked it up to start working on it again. So I'm going to insert that picture now so that you can see the progress that I have made. Okay, and here it is. So I finished off the sand. I've started another succulent plant here. I've started to fill in this right through there. So this is the progress, and here side by side so you can see what it looks like this is worked on 14 count white ada which came in the kit and I'm gonna just use all the colors that were in the kit I think it's very pretty once it gets going I think it's gonna look really really pretty so this is now my new Thursday through Saturday piece. So once again, from Bucilla, my first stitch, it's called Cactus Terrarium. And the last piece that I want to show, as always, is Titanic. And what has happened with Titanic is I was filling in and I came to one color that I had ran out of. And because these are confetti heavy and sometimes you don't use a color for a long time, I did not realize that I had ran out of it. So. I have filled in all but one color. So I'm getting that floss. And then I'm going to move over to up here to start down this next set section, which I will hit the crow's nest. And I should hit the first smokestack. So you're going to see a little progress, but you're still going to see some empty holes, and those are just the, num the color that I need, that I will be getting. And I'm just going to keep um, my fabric folded just to show that part of it. So anyway, here's what it looked like last time. Okay, here is what it looks like now. I don't even know if you're going to be able to tell. But I've got, there's a couple of them up here that I have left to do. 
There is some down here. Yeah, it's really hard to tell. But yeah, like right around in here, I've got some. But it's all the same color. I have filled in through here. It's all filled in. So just wherever, very little left. So, yeah, that's where I'm at with that. And I am working on it. This is my week to work on this. So I'm going to get that color and get that started. So that will definitely be done. And then I'm going to start up at the top again with the next section of sky and work down. So this is worked on 14 count black Ada. Um, it is using all the colors that were called for in the pattern. And yeah, I can see everything very easily because once again, the fabric is loose enough that you can see right through. So I have, I don't really have a problem with it so yeah so there it is once again and I'm right here the next page is starting about here so that should include the crow's nest and the smoke the first smokestack should be in there so I am making progress slow steady progress and the last thing that I want to show is, like I said, my new start for April. And I decided to start Ho 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 Ornament from Dimensions. So this is going to be my new April start since I will not see you again before the 1st of April. So it is a kit, comes with that fabric, the pretty colors, Christmassy colors. And I'm going ahead and starting it now because then when Christmas time comes or Christmas in July and all of that, then I will have something started that I could work on. So that is what I've been working on. That's what I've been doing. Um, plans are to just continue as I am. Um, depending on how close I am finishing uh, the mice stitching, that might become a focus on a finish. Because I'm pretty much down to just little bits on it. And so I might have that as a focus on a finish. So, and then I will be explaining what I'm doing after that for my next piece. So anyway, yeah, everything just staying as it is. And if you've been hearing rustling in the background or anything, that's my cats. They've all been really they all got the zoomies today and they are just running back and forth and playing with each other and yeah so and I will show you at some point Lily again she's doing really good that was the feral cat that I brought in she's doing really good and adjusting wonderfully so anyway that's all the jabbering I'm gonna do for now so anyway everyone take care stay safe thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. And I will see you guys on the next video.